Oh, hello. How are you? Guess what? I'm doing fine also. <laughs> I'm in week nine. Week nine of my quarantine, isolation, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. And I'm still alive and kicking. Well, alive anyway. Would you go for that? 50% is not bad. <laughs> well, I'm about to make another escape. This time I'm going to go from Key West to Fort Myers. Not a very long flight, but it should be interesting. But right now I'm going to get started on making the flight plan. Now it was requested that I show you how I go about making or filing a flight plan using SimBrief. Now there are lots of videos available on this, so I'm just going to cover the basics for this particular flight. Is that okay? All right, here's how we do it. So to start, we go to simbrief.com and this is the open uh, opening page. First thing we need to do is we need to log in and I'll log in with my account here. And then I go to Dispatch and go to Save Flights. And because there aren't any in at the moment, I'm going to go and do a new flight. Airline, that is RYR, my flight number is 186, I'm going to depart from Key West which is KEYW And I'm going to go to KRSW, which is Fort Myers, South West Florida. You can see it comes up with an automatic alternative airport. If you want to accept that, you'll leave it as, a, as it is. It comes up with today's date and the departure time in Zulu time. Now, aircraft type, in my case, I have already saved a particular aircraft in it, and the airframe is, there we go, I'm Ryanair, and the letters on there, the E I E F Y, those, that's the tail. The profile is always 10 for Ryanair, so I'm leaving that as it is. Now, time en route, it says it's going to be about one hour. It suggests the departure runway is 27 and the arrival runway is 6. Now, in checking, the wind using windy.com and going to KRSW the wind is calm visibility is 10 uh, statute miles no clouds under 12,000 feet um, it's suggesting then that the runway could well be 6 if that's the normal one we'll leave it in as that the extra fuel, and I'm always in kilograms. Passengers, 
I am full. Cargo, I have one ton. Zero fuel weight, there's my name of the captain. Now all we have to do is pick a flight plan. Now I can click here on show more routes. These have been used previously by other pilots. So a real world route from FlightAware. If we click on that it'll give us the flight plan. It says the route is valid for Air Act 2005, route distance 122 miles. And then scrolling down here we can see what our route is as it takes us over the, um, the sea to come in on Fort Myers. And this, the dotted line, that's our route to Miami as our alternative. I'll accept this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the top, tap on save the flight, and then I'm going to generate the flight plan using these options. And say yes. It's generating the briefing package. Okay, and at this particular point I can download it. From here I just, I can preview or print the, uh, the PDF file. But here is all the information. My crews, and these are the things I'm going to be looking for, is flight level 170, not very high. I'm not even going to get into controlled airspace. Airtime is 35 minutes, block time is 1 hour and 3. And there's our route. And then the flight plan is here. And this is actually the same kind of a flight plan that Ryanair uses. So I've got this set up to be Ryanair. You could set yours up for American or Delta or Air France, whatever you wish. And here you can see the information is all in the file. Block fuel is 5218. And then scrolling down, here's the wind information that we will need. And if I scroll all the way, it takes us through all the NOTAMs, all of the information about the runways, any impediments, flight restrictions. And here we get into the charts showing the weather. This is the one that we'll, be, we'll need, is this one here. This shows the route and it shows it at flight level 140 which is going to be fairly close to ours and you can see that we're going to have pretty much a tailwind going in. This one is also pertinent. This is flight level 180 it gives and you can see what the weather is like. So it's going to be a bit of a crosswind almost at the top. And here's the profile of our flight. Now the only thing I have to do now is load this into the flight simulator and there is a little program to do that or you can do it manually but it's very simple very straightforward. So that's how I file my flight plan. Now, how do I go about bringing this into SimBrief? Very simple. I go in and open up Navigraph Charts. 
and I'm going to go now into new flight I'm going to click on from sim brief and there it is Key West to Fort Myers I'm going to select it and then it comes up That's all there is to filing a flight plan, getting the information that we're going to need to be able to program the simulator to take this short flight between Key West and Fort Myers. So if you're ready, let's go into the simulator, take our seats. Shall we do that? Perhaps we can escape once again. All right, everybody, come on on. Welcome aboard. Here we are. We're at Key West. We're parked in stand number one, right opposite the US Customs and Border Protection Office. It just occurred to me, I don't think I've got a visa. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into trouble. So I tell you what, Let's not tell them and let's just go and have our flight, shall we? Okay. Right, first thing we do, turn on the battery, turn on the fuel pump, and then let's start the APU. We're looking right now at 28 volts because we're running off the battery. But as soon as the APU starts, we should get 115 volts. And then that will run all of the things that we need to start the engines. So while that's doing, I'm going to put in... Uh, the position K E Y W There we go. We have APU generator power. We now have a hundred and fifteen volts. So turn on the galley so we can get the coffee brewing. Emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belt. These two lights are to say that the stairs are down for our passengers to come on and the forward service hatch is open. Over here we will turn on the left and the right window heat, left and right probes, and then the hydraulic pumps. Turn on the APU bleed so that we can have air conditioning in the cabin behind us. Turn on the strobe to steady that alerts everyone that there is activity on board. Right, we're ready now to turn on the IRS to get our location and that sets our GPS location precisely. Let's look over here, let's see if we, yes, those two arches say that the IRS is now active. I've got Navigraph charts open, our location is marked on it. Now we'll put our route in and we're going Key West to KRSW at Fort Myers. And we are Ryanair. 186 is our call sign. So we'll put that up there. Activate. And now it's in. Now we need to know our fix. So we're going to go and put the fix into uh, KRSW.
we'll want a four mile circle, a 10 mile circle, and a 30 mile circle. Going over to the forecast for the descent, let's have a listen and see what they give us. Kilo Romeo Sierra Whiskey Airport Information Charlie 1053 Zulu Weather Wind 036 at 7 Visibility 10 Sky Clear Temperature 10 Viewpoint 7 QNH 1028 Advice on Initial Contact You have information Charlie Right, we have information Charlie Kilo and we have the Q&H at the destination airport of 1028. Right, we'll put in our winds a lot, 263 at 13. Two fifty at 8. And 235 at 20. Okay. Now we need to find out which runway we're going to be departing from. Decision height is 227. So we'll put that in. And we'll tune in to the ATIS. So that's 119.65. So one one nine and six five. Key West International Airport Information Hotel one one three two Zulu wind zero three six at one zero visibility greater than twenty miles sky condition few clouds at five thousand five hundred temperature one eight two point one three altimeter one zero two five landing and departing runway niner. VFR aircraft say direction of flight all aircraft read back hold short instructions advise controller on initial contact you have. Well, we have hotel. We're going to be departing from runway 9. So we'll put 9 in. And then we'll go to our destination. It's supposed to be runway 6. So we'll be ILS runway 6 coming in. And it will be direct. Let's see if we have a good flight plan. As we step through this, it takes us all the way in. That's good. Okay. Now let's put in our route and do the initialization. The total of planned fuel is going to be 4.5. That's adding the reserve fuel and the trip and taxi together. And then the reserve is 2.7. Cost index is 10. Our cruise altitude is 170. And cruise wind is 259 at 7. And our transition altitude is 18,000 feet. degrees. We're going to have flaps 10 today. It's not the longest runway in the world so we'll just make sure we have sufficient for liftoff. So we'll set this at 142 and runway 09 is 93. So we'll turn this to 93. So we're headed in the 
the right direction when we depart. Okay, let's see what else do we need. Well, the localizer at our destination is 111.5. Let's see if we've got a good... We're doing fine. Good. We'll lock that in. 093. Oh, we need to put 1700 feet. And here we'll put this the pressure in the cabin will be 17,000 feet. Zero because the runway at Fort Myers is also at sea level. Right, we're now ready to depart. Are you ready? Well, I'm ready. So, since we are next to the runway and there's no pushback needed here because we'll just swing around and go that way, we'll just start from in place. So, lights off, stairs and door up. Let's make sure that these lights go off. Okay, good. Everything is secured on that. We'll tell the attendance that we're going to start the engine. We'll start engine number two this time. We'll turn off the air conditioning and switch engine number two to ground starter. Now what we're looking for here is 24. And when we get to 24 we'll introduce the fuel lever and we'll, ah, there it is. Fuel lever now goes to 20 into the idle. And you can hear the engines spinning up. Yeah. And we've got 115 volts. Switch this over to engine number one and let's start engine number one. And while we're doing that, we're going to um, request our takeoff taxi to depart north. Key West Ground, Ryanair 186 with hotel. Request taxi for takeoff north departure. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway minor using taxiway Alpha 10 Alpha. Contact tower on 118.2 when ready. Taxi hold short runway minor via taxiway Alpha 10 Alpha Ryanair 186. Oh, we have our takeoff clearance and we have 115 volts. Both engines are started, so now we'll switch the power, the generator, coming from the engines. And we'll turn on the air conditioning again. Turn off the APU. Let's go steady. And we'll make sure that everybody is seated because we're are about to taxi to the active runway. Are we ready? We're ready. 
All right, adjust your seats, make sure that we've got ourselves all buckled in. Cell phones are off. Everything is ready. Okay. Turn on the taxi lights. Start the indicator, so we're going to go right. Ha, just kidding. All right. Break off. Arctic TO set. And let's give a little bit of power to get ourselves moving here. A nice wave to the Customs and Border Protection people. It's a lovely day here in Key West. The weather is nice. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Whenever I think of Key West, I think of that great film with Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson. Great film that was. Let's request our takeoff, see if we can... Key West Tower, Ryanair 186, ready for north departure at runway minor. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff runway minor. Approved departure to the north. Cleared for takeoff runway minor, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our takeoff clearance, so we'll take a good look, make sure there's nothing coming in. move into position on the runway and make our final check and if everything is clear and ready then we will depart
Auto Brake RTO. All lights on. Engine set to continuous. TCAS is on. Crew is alerted. Start the clock. Right, we are ready for takeoff. Let's advance the power to N1. We have N1 power, toga buttons pushed, and here we go. is prepared for Fort Myers and we're on our way we'll release the crew to go to work Cloud up ahead, we'll see. Well, nothing on the weather radar, so no cells in there. We still have our main lights on because we're still below 10,000 feet. Now we're just crossing through 9,000 feet. There's 10,000, so we'll turn off the lights and we'll turn off the fastened seatbelt sign so that the passengers can wander about a bit. Okay. Get our
to the right in a moment. Here we go. And now we're on our main course for Fort Myers. We'll be approaching top of climb in just a moment. checks out and we're on our way listening to two frequencies. I'm listening to the 80s when we get within range of Fort Myers and I'm also listening to Miami Center. Coming up on our top Ryanair of descent. 186, contact Miami Center on 134.75. 134.75. Short 
lights are always busier in the cockpit. A lot more to do. Southwest Florida International Airport Information Echo 1158 Zulu Wind 036 at 7 Visibility greater than 20 miles Sky condition clear Temperature 102.7 Altimeter 1028 Landing and departing Runway 6 VFR aircraft say direction of flight All aircraft read back hold short instruction Advise controller on initial contact you have Echo Right we have Echo for Southwest Florida International Airport and it looks like we are going to be coming in on runway 6 just like the wind indicated to us on that windy.com website if you remember that feet I'll put the seat belt set fasten sign on It's 8.01 local time in Florida. It will be warming up quite a bit, but won't be quite as hot as it will be later on. It's the turbulence from the water I'm concerned about. It's going to make things a bit bumpy. So, seatbelt signs are now on. to see Marco Island a little bit coming up ahead.
once we get to the 30 mile circle, I'll cancel the flight following and then turn on and contact the tower at Fort Myers as we will be in their control area. We'll turn this on and also we'll give ourselves the landing lights on to make sure that we have full visibility.
we'll go to flaps one. We need to slow up a little bit. miles from the runway. next waypoint will be switching straight to the runway heading 058. Check everything, looks good. Crew, secure for landing. turn in just a moment and the airport is just over here now it's very important in Florida to remember one thing you must remember to always land on the runway if you land in the Everglades you could get eaten alligators you know
four more miles and we'll be turning on to final. to the approach. And the airport is straight ahead of us. We're right on course. It's 8.15 a.m. We're doing well. our landing clearance in just a moment.
the power back. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. There's the flare and the touchdown. Reverse thrusters. Little bit of a cross wind here. We were able to adjust. Okay. Friday, one eight six. Turn next taxiway. Yes, indeed. Start the APU, and we'll turn off here. Rider 186, contact ground on 121 point minor. Going to 121 point minor, Ryanair 186. Okay, now we'll taxi to the gate. Let's see if this airport has... Nope, it doesn't. I was hoping it would have some stand information, but it doesn't, so we'll just go with what we can. All right, retract the flaps. Fort Myers, ground, orbit 73 minor 5, with hotel ready to taxi IFR. Orbit 73 minor 5, taxi 2 and hold short at runway 6 via taxiway Alpha 4, Alpha Alpha 1, contact tower on 128.75 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 6 via taxiway Alpha 4, Alpha Alpha 1, orbit 73 minor 5. We'll go straight to the main terminal. So stick my hand out to turn left, ah, if only. Okay, and we'll swing left here. Sorry about the frame rate. It looks bad when I'm doing a left and a right swing, so I apologize for that.
and we're going here into B6. Belts off. Fort Myers, ground. World travel to Fort Minor Minor with India ready to taxi IFR. World travel to Fort Minor Minor taxi two and hold shorter runway six via taxiway hotel golf one foxtrot foxtrot one contact tower on one two eight point seven five when ready. Right, the stairs are down, taxi the forward hatch is open. Runway 6 via taxiway hotel golf one foxtrot foxtrot one world travel to Fort Minor Minor. Right, we'll start to secure the aircraft. We're going to be staying here overnight. Window heat and probes off. And electrical hydraulic pumps are off. Everybody's off, so air conditioning is off. And IRS is off, TCAS is off, and APU off, main batteries off, we are shut down. We have arrived. Welcome to Fort Myers. Enjoy your stay in Florida. Thank <laughs> you.